I've voted for three different parties. Can you say that? No, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, I've only been eligible to vote for like three elections or two presidential elections in my life. I voted for Bush, McCain, Obama, Gary Johnson. Um, I voted for Obama, and then I had a felony. I couldn't vote, <laughs> so I couldn't vote for him a second time. Or I would have. I would have voted for Obama <laughs> the second time, but I, I had a felony. Um, and then I voted for Bernie Sanders in the primary. I did too. But then I voted for Hillary Clinton for president. Uh, don't you wish you did? No. You no. should be embarrassed by that. No. You should, uh, you be, should embarrassed be embarrassed by that. voting for Hillary Clinton. That's a, dis a fucking disgrace. Why? I would have been more I would respect you more for not voting at that point. <laughs> Are you the dumbest person I've ever met? We've had this conversation. Don't fuck a start. We have had this conversation on this podcast where you have conceded you should have voted for Hillary Clinton. Dude, I vote I You have conceded that yourself. I mean, maybe did I? Yeah. Maybe, okay, maybe I have, but I can't imagine like Voting for her like she's uh, only what's to, so what's so terrible about Hillary Clinton? To you? I mean, here's what I may have said: Had I known Trump actually had a chance, I would have voted for Hillary Clinton without a doubt. I assumed she would win it by a fucking landslide, so that's why I voted the way I that's did. That's why everybody voted the way they did, and that's why we're in the situation we're in now. Thanks a lot, dipshits. <laughs> Voting for Hillary Clinton though is a a wasted vote. Says the guy that voted for Gary fucking Johnson. Mm -hmm. No regrets. I would vote for him again. If he That's was not what you've said. You've previously, <laughs> very specifically said you wished you'd voted for Hillary Clinton. Like I said, just because I don't like Trump that much. Maybe I did say that. but You did. But I well, still what, don't. So you still haven't answered my question. What? what is so terrible about Hillary Clinton that you hate? Um, She's just like a typical bullshit, lying, politician, crazy, you know, old bitch. Like, That's the best you got. I mean, I do you really want me to sit here and like look up a bunch of stuff? Because I no, but if you if you hate her that much, you shouldn't have to look up a bunch of stuff. You should have reasons. I don't. I, I'm not like a Hillary Clinton hater. I hate both of them, but I I'm just saying, like with all the shit that she's done, like I would not vote for her either. What what shit has she done? I don't know. I Weird saying, shit. Are you really like okay, trying to no, put me no. on the spot? To, like make me look no, dumb? No, we'll just, like. On no, the show, I was like, asking. No, I was. I asking, don't understand because I mean, like I said, I'm not trying to make you look dumb. I was genuinely asking you a question. <laughs> Okay, I, it seems like you don't have an answer. So we can move on. I'm not. This, I'm not trying Hillary to Hillary Clinton you. is literally someone that I have not thought about in two years. You understand that, right? Cool hostility. Call no, around. I was just genuinely. I'm just asking, saying, like you're, you're coming why, at me like I was trying you're to embarrass at me, you. Asking you to give you a bunch of examples for why I don't like Hillary Clinton. My point is, I had a bunch when it was voting time, and now I don't care because she's no one. That's my opinion. Okay, you don't have to get a hostile. I'm not getting hostile. I have to talk over you because you won't let me talk. So no, I'm getting I asked my point you a across. Question. And I answered it. I asked you a question and I was genuinely, I wasn't trying right. to embarrass you. Okay. I just asked a question. I'm not embarrassed. I just don't understand what you're like. Get, you're sitting here like, tell me, tell me exactly specific. You're like my wife. Tell me exactly specific reasons why you think the way you're thinking. So you, now you don't have a comeback. So you're like staring at the ca camera and like mouth. No, you just stuff. no. I was just, you. You just said I'm like your wife. <laughs> you are in the sense that she wants to hear the exactly what do you want me to come specific back with? reason. What do you want me to come back with? I, I asked don't. you a question. You said you didn't have an answer. That's fine. I wasn't like that, right. that. That was that. You're sitting here saying like, you don't even hostile. know why. You said you don't even know why you don't like her. Well, no. I'm just saying if you're gonna take a hard a hard line position where you're like I would never vote for her, and I ask you why, and you have nothing to say. Listen, that's telling to me. Yeah, it's telling because I haven't thought about Hillary Clinton in two years because I was, I was never that passionate about it. Let me make it clear. I don't really give a fuck, but I had reasons when I went to vote. I was like, there is no fucking re way I would ever vote for this bitch. Now I have not thought about her in so long. Hillary Clinton was not the kind of thing that I devoted a lot of my energy or time to. Okay, that's cool. Like, so I don't, it my, my opinion was never like so, I, it's so weighted. I just, I've heard enough bad shit about her where I don't like her and I would not have voted for it and I'm glad I didn't. Still, Kind of like when you see a so movie. So you're saying you bought into propaganda. I mean, don't I heard we, enough bad shit, so I just... Don't we all? I definitely think we all do, but you're saying that's basically what your vote was contingent I mean, what on. am I supposed to base it on? Well, I mean, I'm just saying if you have Honestly, a strong... Honestly, what, what do you base it on? I'm just saying that if you have a strong opinion about somebody enough, you're like, I would never vote for her, yeah. and I ask you why to give me a reason. Yeah. Even if it's been... We're two years removed from it, and... 
you felt that way at the time. I don't expect you to remember every little thing. I can't name every fucking reason I don't like Tr- Donald Trump. God knows there's a fucking enough of them. Okay. But I'll always be able to give you like a couple. Like I, I would just expect if you're if you feel that strongly about it, you can give me something. And I, I was not trying to press you to embarrass you. I was, I was waiting for an actual response. Okay. And that's okay. You can say I don't remember, and that's cool. I'm not. I wasn't. I wasn't trying to bring the venom out of you, buddy. I wasn't trying to rub your feelings. I didn't mean wrong, to make it seem get like you that. all it's in just... your feelings. Go back and watch that video. I didn't make it. Go back and watch that video because you got a little <laughs> ragey, bro. The... Which, by the way, I know this is a slightly different. Topic. One of these times, one of these times, I'll get to speak. You I'll just keep you like rambling and rambling and rambling and rambling, just so I can't well, get it at worded. Well, I mean, can I have my head back? You just took it <laughs> off, bro. Jesus fucking all Christ! Right. Yeah, you, know, you keep going in circles, though. Let's. This is a podcast. Let's Go ahead. try. Let's. Let's Look, not he's like still, keep, he's still raging. Let's not keep wa- running in circles about the same old shit. You know what I mean? Let's make it listenable for at the very least. All right. <laughs> All right. So we're both done ru- running in circles. All I was saying is that I do not, I cannot give you a specific reason because right now I, ha- I, if Hillary Clinton knocked on my door, I'm not going to like say, get out of here. You crazy fucking bitch. I hate you. Cause I don't, but I'm telling you when the time came to vote for her, I I watched the fucking debates. I I read the articles. I seen the news shit. I I did. I tried to do what little research my feeble, stupid, non-politics brain can handle to make an educated decision. And there was enough evidence that that I recalled at that time that I would say fuck that bitch. Uh, like the only last point I'll make is it's similar to when you watch a movie. You're like fuck yeah, I remember that movie. It was the shit, or that movie sucked. And like, what exactly did you not like about it? I mean. Personally, I don't remember details like that, so I'm going to be like, uh, I don't remember. And that's essentially all that's happening here, and that's all I want. I had to say about it. That's all fair. I do think, though, that your analogy is flawed in that people's – the way you feel about a movie and the way you feel about a presidential candidate, Yeah, there's a different level of commitment to those emotions. Hey, thank you for watching. You should do us a favor and hit your like button and your share button and your subscribe button and your comment button and then type something funny in there and then click the bell on YouTube and all that. All of that shit, socials, links, bios, nudes, dick pics, iconoclash.net. Dick pics go to him. Nudes come to me. Like the female nudes. <laughs>